Hi, I'm Andy Burrows for Tides TV. I'm here with Dr. Alex Schein, uh, who's the Chief Scientific Officer at Art Bioscience. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks, Andy. Um, so to start with, um, Art Bioscience is developing an mRNA-based treatment for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, could you just tell me a little bit about what that is and how it works? Oh, it works in a very simple way, in fact. It does exactly what uh, any mRNA does. It delivers a message to uh, protein synthesis machinery in the cell, and then that machinery just, just makes a protein that's missing in, in the, the patient's cell. And what benefits does using this mRNA-based treatment? Well, specifically for that disease, is kind of very important because um, Duchenne muscular dystrophy has many genetic backgrounds. There are many mutations associated with, with the disease. Mm. And uh, there are treatments which go just for one specific mutation. They correct it or, or they replace the protein that's missing, but it only works in one case. And, and usually that's 5 to 10 percent of the patient. The mRNA is supposed to, to treat everyone, regardless of the genetic background they have. Hmm. Okay, and do you see this therapy expanding to other genetic disorders? Well, we are doing it in a hard way because uh, the gene that is affected in Duchenne muscular dystrophy is very long. It's one of the longest genes in a human genome and therefore um, the mRNA is also extremely long. Mm. So if we do that, it could be potentially expanded to any genetic disease which uh, is associated with uh, a gene defect and uh, when any protein is missing, actually we can replace that by providing appropriate messenger RNA. Right. And what challenges, I assume there's some quite quite meaty challenges there. What are the biggest ones that still need to be overcome? Well, um, we have two main challenges. One is specific to what we do and that, um, as I mentioned, is the size of the mRNA. So it's not an easy task to produce that in a lab. Well, um, RNAs of that size are usually not made synthetically. Hmm. So we have a protocol developed specifically for that and it sort of works fine. Um, the, the, the next challenge is general for the mRNA therapy field and that is how to get this molecule into the cell. Because RNA is usually very big and it's charged. It has strong negative charge. Right. It means it wouldn't normally get through the cell membrane, which is built of lipids. And well, one of the tasks of the cell membrane is, there, is to reject long polar molecules like RNA, like for example with virus infection. Mm -hmm. So cells, cells would fight against having that molecule inside them. That. Um, is a very big, big challenge in the field that's been addressed by many companies, many players, with uh, a number of approaches. We are developing our own uh, delivery system that would uh, work for, for such a big RNA. Right. And I guess more generally, where do you see the industry going? Well, mRNA therapy is an expanding field. Uh, I hope that it will keep expanding. There are like um, um, a number of roads that uh, the field is, is taking. There are big companies uh, and, and smaller players in the field. Mainly what mRNA therapy is today um, is immunotherapy. Because, uh, many companies develop RNA vaccines. But instead of uh, injecting a protein and wait for the body to make an antibodies against that protein, 
The idea is to in inject the RNA, and then the body will make a protein and the antibodies for right. it. But, but that's relatively easy, and uh, the delivery role that I mentioned is also quite straightforward. So, protein replacement therapy is that uh, what our bioscience is going for is much more challenging. But, um, well, as, as um, we work with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which is a, a severe disease and there is no treatment, and we are financed by the parents whose children are affected with the disease. Okay. We kind of don't care how, how difficult is it. Right, right. But we just go and we're dedicated to find a solution. So there are also other companies which uh, work with the protein replacement therapy regardless of uh, all the difficulties associated with it. Um, it's a very promising field. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Exciting times ahead. Well, good luck with everything and thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks.